A Midvale family now taking legal action after their video has gone viral. It shows a neighbor yelling racial slurs at them. The video show a woman identified as Catherine Smith making those racist comments and using profane language. This family's documented interactions are going on since as far back as May of this year. KUTV's Amanda Gilbert spoke to their attorney and breaks down those videos. Since May, a Midvale family's been dealing with this. A neighbor, Catherine Smith, uses racial slurs and derogatory language when she's near their home. One video even shows the family's son covering his ears as Smith drives by. She has no reservation about using the F word. She has no reservation about using the N word. Civil rights attorney Tyler Ayers is representing the family. She has no reservation about using them at children. Not even just in front of children, but directly at them. Ayers says the mom tried to talk to Smith and asks her kids to be left alone. Do not talk to the kids. But this viral video shared on TikTok shows things like that. Yes, it is. And your unborn baby. Get the baby out of there. She's expecting a baby any day now. And hopefully that child doesn't have to grow up hearing these things. Air says the family has reached out to HOA and Unified Police several times. It's the pain that this family's having to go through after they bought their house. The children should never be subjected to this. Nobody should be subjected to this. Neighbor Aaron Connor says he's witnessed Smith using racial slurs. So I ran over to her and just said, hey, uh, you know, this isn't the 19th century. You can't do that. I knocked on Smith's door, but she wasn't home. Oh, it's terrible. I mean, the kids are super cute. They love my dog. And whenever we're out in the summer, they're always wanting to play, and they seem like really sweet, good kids. Smith does have some active warrants out for her arrest, and Unified Police did release a statement about this today. For that full statement, head to our news app. Amanda Gilbert, KUTV, 2 News. Earlier today, we also received a statement from the city of Midvale saying, in part, we've seen the video, share your disgust, and contend the behavior. Ms. Smith has never been employed by Midvale City, and we would not tolerate such behavior from any employee.